Okay, folks, we're where we left off. We're back on this uh, steam chest. Uh, laying in bed last night thinking about this. You know, I, I was thinking about the intake ports and, you know, putting the air to it. And, you know, we're going to have to put air to both sides. So I, I was really thinking about why I was putting a piece between it to separate them off. And have come to the conclusion that I don't need it. Uh, I was just assuming and thinking with it being a two cylinder and a you know duplex that you know we needed two separate compartments which we need two separate valves and you know for the timing and stuff but actually don't need two separate compartments uh, you know one pressurized compartment is going to be the same as two and uh, I, I guess I was assuming that because most two cylinders I see are not made together you know there's two separate cylinders two separate steam chests and uh, with this one being together there's no reason why we need this and I've never seen one you know, that was able to use the same steam chest for both cylinders so you know I, I didn't go into that thinking about it right but I think I have you know figured out that we'll be alright without it I'm working on cutting the pieces to go in here uh, and I think this is 5 eighths actually uh, I didn't have any half inch and uh, I'll show you what I'm cutting it off of here. Okay, what we got here is an old, uh, this is an old mud flap arm, actually is what it is. And uh, now some of these you've got to watch are, are rounded on the ends and they're actually spring loaded. I don't know if the whole thing is actually spring steel or if it's, you know, they're just heated and treated the, the spring part. But this one here is actually a soft, uh, soft steel. So, you know, I'll we're just cutting it to length now. Okay, folks, we got our pieces welded in there. On, we welded them on the bottom side, of course, but uh, getting ready to put it in and machine it. Uh, one thing I don't like about this piece of steel, you can see these corners, they're matching, and then these corners are a different radius. But uh, it almost looks like it's bent out, but it's not. It's just the way the radius is made, so not a big deal. Uh, you know, it's what happens when you use and use junk and trying to make it into new junk. But, uh, We'll go ahead and get this mounted in and get the machining on it and then we'll flip it over and we'll figure out how to mount it to machine this top. I, you know, I want to go ahead and get this all good and level. So, show you more shortly. Okay, folks, we got this machine, the body, or the bottom of the body. Uh, fits on there really good, sits good and flat. So, got that taken care of. Uh, we'll get it on there and then uh, what we're going to do is... Uh, We'll machine the top too, of course, but you know, for the plate. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to mount it first. I may mount it first, weld it on. Uh, we'll figure out a way to hold for a hold, you know, hold down. I don't, I don't know what's going to be best on that, but I, I definitely want to figure out a way of holding it down good to surface that top, and uh, we will uh, get on that and get it done, and uh, I'll show you more. Okay, folks, we got the top and the bottom machine, so we're done there. Uh, you can see they, the actual gasket's going to seal around the outside edge, but I needed to have something to bolt it down to, so that's what them are there for. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, grind the bottom here and uh, trim these off and go ahead and get that welded down on it. And uh, we're getting a whole lot closer here with it, and we'll... Uh, Keep working away here. Uh, I'll show you something once I get it welded on. Okay, folks, I beat this out really good. Rounded the corners on my piece. Uh, got a good weld around it. And now we're going to grind it and uh, go ahead and get it uh, get it all looking like one piece. Got more to do on that side, but we're working around it here and. Uh, We'll get it all, all done here shortly. Okay, folks, here's where we stand on this now. I've got everything, you know, blended in here and uh, looking pretty good. I mean, I got a little bit more to do, but uh, the problem I'm running into is, you know, with these manifolds on the side, uh, I cut these pieces out. I cut four of these out and I uh, hadn't ground them or anything, but I was going to put one there. Welded in, 
one up higher and then you know just build the wall around it and then put a uh, three-quarter hole or well one inch hole I guess it'd be and run this three-quarter pipe we'll cut it you know below the threads put it in weld it and then use these brass uh, unions on it these uh these, I actually found these in a junk car believe it or not all of that but uh so I didn't have to buy them but uh, of course it's got China on it and uh, that kind of bothers me but I don't I don't even know that you can get American stuff anymore but uh, but I was gonna actually run these on the side and then I was just gonna add a piece of copper pipe in on each side you know to extend it on up but uh, I don't like the looks of that manifold I just don't know you know by the time I weld it and grind it and, and get it in I, I just don't look like it's gonna it's gonna be good because if you if you grind it you know if you don't get a good weld on it that's 16 gauge is all that is and I want to get a good enough weld on it where I can grind it and make it look good so I'm at a sort of at a crossroads there and uh, been trying to figure this out for for too long and uh, so I'm gonna keep looking around and try to find something to something to do I, I wish I could uh, you know had some steel fittings I could put on it or something I you know I'm gonna we're gonna decide something on it here shortly but I'll show you now my plans to use these I threw it out the door uh, I didn't like the just didn't like the way it was gonna turn out so what I did was take two of these cast pipes and I actually crushed them and uh, of course that made them water and uh, heated them up red hot and then welded them on you can see this side a little better but uh so I've got that taken care of and uh we we'll cut two short pipes and stuck in it but uh we'll end up going with some brass pipes or copper or something before it's over with but anyway that's her for now exhaust done uh still got to drill and tap the holes and put the top cap on and then uh, we'll have to drill and tap the pipe thread fittings for our uh, compression fittings that go through there for our linkage, make our valves. But basically our uh, steam chest is pretty much finished. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get back on it and get some more done later. Bye.